This is experiment three, density of saline solutions, making a best fit line by hand. I've got my graph here uh, that I was working on before. It's got a title, it's got an axis label for the y-axis, it's got all the different data points or, or markings for scales, including some additional ones I did to help me locate my points. Then I got down here on my x-axis similarly, so my points are typically marked in some fashion, so I know where they are. So, and uh, hopefully you can see my four uh, points. Uh, my data uh, could be better. Hopefully yours is at least as good, but I can, you can see, I can see too, that two of my data points had densities that were the same to the correct number of sig figs. I would not expect that to be true, but uh, there it is. So, but we can work with this. This shows that there is an approximately linear trend or linear relationship between molarity and density. And that's one of the things we're trying to show with this lab. Now, to do a best fit line, I'm gonna use a straight edge ruler. Um, what I like about this straight edge ruler is that you can see through it, though you don't have to use something that you can see through. When I make my actual line, I'm going to make it with uh, my notepad. So, uh, because anything relatively thick and straight will do. But what I've got here is I've got four points, and the positions of the points, I've got two of them above the line, or the best, what I'm going to call the best fit line. And two of them, you can see one under the ruler here, and one under the ruler there, below the line. And when you're doing a best fit line by hand, you want the spacing between the points that are above the line and the spacing from, uh, to, from the points to the line below the line to be approximately equal. And for a true best fit line, the squares of the sums of their distances would be equal. And that's what Excel will do. But for now, I've got my two points below, I've got my two points above, I can show you with the other side too. There you go. So you can see I've got two points. I think you can see, there you go. I've got two points below and two points above. Now let me draw the best fit line. And again, you can use anything you want. I'm gonna use a notepad. And that looks about like where it's supposed to be. And we're doing our best uh, here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You draw it in one fell swoop, one straight edge, the length. It's straight. And the spacing between the points above and the points below are approximately equal. That's how you do a best fit line by hand.